friends and collectors, and welcome back to The Bat Cave with me, Tony Battelle. And today, as you can see behind me, I'll be reviewing uh, most of the McFarlane Toys Batman figures from the 1964 to, uh, rather, the 1966 to 68 TV show starring uh, Adam West and Burt Ward. Uh, now, McFarland has done a wonderful job with these action figures. There are uh, also a whole accoutrement of uh, other uh, parts of the, the show. You've got, for instance, um, we have the Bat Cave. And um, over here we have the, uh, the, the lair, the um, villain's lair. And, of course, we wouldn't be complete without the Barris Batmobile. And all the figures can fit, you know, are sized for these, um, you know, accessories. Uh, also, you have the Batman lunchbox inside. There are some figures as well. Uh, we're not going to review any of these today because uh, there's quite a bit to talk about just of the action figures. So, um, let's go ahead and get to it. So here are the basic figures. We have uh, Batman, of course, on the left, and uh, Robin, the boy wonder, on the right. Uh, you notice that the they look just like the actors. So you have uh, Adam West as Batman uh, and Burt Ward as Robin. And they're really quite detailed. I'm really uh, quite impressed with the, the sculpting on these. Here we see some variations on uh, Batman from the uh, series. Uh, on the left, of course, you have the basic Batman. In the middle, we have a black and white Batman. So if you had a black and white TV back in uh, 1968, uh, you would have um, seen Batman like this. And on the right, very interesting, we have Batman without his cowl. Uh, in a, with a very detailed Adam West, and uh, he really looks, he, he looks just perfect. Uh, you get a, let me see if we can get him a little closer here, and you can see uh, he's really done quite well. Now this Batman here. Uh, this is from the uh, 1966 episode, Walk the Straight and Narrow. And if you look closely, you'll see that it's not really Batman. This is actually Alfred dressed as Batman, because in that episode, Batman has to be in two places at the same time. So he has Alfred dress up as Batman to uh, attend a function. So if you look uh, really closely you'll see that Batman has a mustache because it's really Alfred dressed as Batman. Now here we have um, Batman and the Riddler from a particular episode uh, in the, um, the 1968, the third season of the show. Uh, the episode was Ring Around the Riddler where Batman actually gets in a boxing ring uh, with the Riddler. And uh, the, I think McFarlane has done an excellent job here. Uh, the Riddler, of course, uh, uh, is in the image of Frank Gorshin, and uh, he just looks absolutely exquisite. So here we have Batman and the Joker uh, from the episode um, Surf's Up. Joker's Under. It was from the third season in 1968, and the Joker here is portrayed by Cesar Romero. And um, it's a pretty good likeness of Cesar Romero, except that you cannot see his mustache. If you look uh, on the show, uh, you will see that uh, Cesar Romero always had a mustache. They had it white. They, they put white on it because when he came to work the first time as the Joker, they um, wanted to, him to shave it off, and he, he wouldn't because he considered his mustache his trademark. And so they let him keep it, but they went ahead and put whiteface on it. But uh, So I'm a little disappointed uh, in this particular um, rendering of Cesar Romero because uh, you cannot see 
his mustache. And maybe I'm mistaken. Let's take a really close look and see. Yeah, I don't really see the mustache. But if you look at the show, uh, you'll see that uh, he does have a mustache. It's a little bit difficult to see because it is white. But uh, he certainly did uh, wear that mustache. So these are all the super villains from the... Uh, the Batman TV show that McFarlane Toys has chosen to portray. Uh, of course, there were some other ones that uh, are left out, but these are probably the most iconic ones. So over here, of course, we've got uh, the Joker, uh, Cesar Romero, uh, and it's a pretty good likeness except uh, for the mustache is missing. And then over here, we've got the Penguin. That's Burgess Meredith. Uh, he always played the Penguin. Uh, there was only one penguin, as there was only one joker. Now, here is uh, Catwoman, and there was another Catwoman. This is uh, McFarlane Toys is uh, chosen to portray the more diverse Catwoman, which is Eartha Kitt. Of course, she's an African-American, and uh, she looks great, just like Eartha Kitt. And, of course, the other Catwoman was Julie Newmar, who was not portrayed. Uh, right over here, we have Mr. Freeze. Now, Mr. Freeze... Um, well, there were three different Mr. Freezes, but I believe this one is Otto Preminger. I'm pretty sure um, that it is Otto. He looks a lot like Otto. He must be Otto Preminger, I would, I would imagine. And then right over here, of course, we have uh, Frank Gorshin again as the Riddler uh, in a basic Riddler outfit. So, all told, I think I'm pretty pleased with the McFarlane Toys uh, Batman action figures from the uh, 1960s TV show. Um, I think some of these are bound to be uh, highly collectible items. So, you know, note to collectors, uh, you should, if you're interested in collecting these, you should try to get it right now before they go up in value. Uh, and they all, some of them already have. There don't seem to be uh, an equal number of each type of figure. Uh, I notice on Target.com uh, you can get uh, certain figures at the retail price, but other figures you just uh, can't find on Target, and you have to go to places like eBay or uh, other toy stores, you know, on the internet, do a Google search and so forth, and it's, um, some of them go for between $20 and $30 already, and they're brand new figures, so... Um, as I indicated, I think they will be uh, very valuable. They're certainly a lot of fun, and um, you know, they all look like the actors, and for me, uh, it's been especially enjoyable because uh, I grew up on Batman. And uh, In fact, I used to play Batman with my friends, and, and here I am, Tony Battelle, uh, in the Batcave. So um, tune in next time. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Batman! Holy subscription, Batman! Shouldn't we tell them to subscribe? That's right, Robin. All they need to do is click this little button down here and they'll be subscribed. That way they won't miss any of the unboxings of action figures or collectibles.